Amy dressed how she wanted to dress. I am Naomi Parry. I was Amy's stylist uh, from 2006 and a friend of hers as well. I'm Petriona Gaule uh, and I was Amy's long-term friend. Amy dressed how she wanted to dress. No one ever told her. I think the only time we ever had, we were ever told that she had to dress in a certain way was when we went to Dubai and they were like, you know, you've got to, the dress has got to be up here. You can't, can't be as low, can't be short. You can't get your bottom of your foot out on stage. And yeah, so that was, that was the only time. She had such a sort of strong sense of her own style and she was incredibly creative. I mean, you know, when you think about an outfit or a way that you want to look, like, oh, I'd really love a coat that was like, she always talked about this canvas Mac. And so she had these ideas and she loved Fred Perry and she loved fashion and clothing. And, and I just think it sort of came from that really. You know, she loved dressing up. I suppose it was just, she wanted to have her own label at some point and experiment with other things aside from music. I used to work in a vintage shop on Camden High Street, um, then later in the stables market, and a lot of us used to have that kind of beehive hair or roll curls, um, wear 50s dresses and kind of bowling shirts and headscarves and so on. It's sort of modern rockabilly, like not too heavy on the vintage, with a little bit of true romance in there, definitely some 80s influences, so there's a bit of a mixture of so I think a lot of people like to pigeonhole her and say that she's, it was 60s, but there were influences throughout the decades, I think. She didn't like to do fittings. So <laughs> it, was, it was basically me pulling in a load of things. I used to go out and I was like her eyes. So she sort of trusted me to go and pull things that she would probably pull herself, or sometimes maybe not. Um, and then, we would work together on the day to decide what she would wear. I'd usually have something in mind. Um, unless it was for an award ceremony, I'd usually plan that well in advance. But it was very collaborative. There was never, I never really felt like I was telling her what to wear. And I think that was really important. She had a very strong sense of self. So really, I was just enhancing her own personal style. Um, and that's why I really loved working with her, because it was very much collaboration. We worked a lot with Dolce Gabbana. Um, they dressed her for the Grammys. Um, they also dressed her for the Brits in 2008. There's quite a few preen dresses here as well that she really loved. Brit Awards 2007 was amazing. And just seeing her, because she was a friend first and foremost, and just seeing her you know, win all of these awards and just take the world by storm really, it was incredible. Amy and I had wanted to start to, to have our own collection and we talked about it for some years. Um, so I introduced her to the idea of doing a collection with Fred Perry. Um, so that's how that came about. And that was kind of was hoping that she'd learn the ropes a bit with the design, get her name out there a bit more as a designer and then we could maybe do something together. And it was when we were in Brazil doing the Brazilian tour, and we were sat around the pool and I was like, we need to step our game up a little bit. I think we should make some, make some dresses for you. We should do some custom suits for the boys. So we designed these like, we had Gresham Blake designed these suits that were almost like neon pink. They were coral, bright coral. And I remember getting them out of the bag and doing a fitting with the boys. And Dale, who was her MD was like, oh my God, you need a pair of sunglasses and an Advil just to look at them. Cause they were so bright. So I had to then think, what you know it, the dresses needed to be needed to stand out against these suits um, and I worked with a small team uh, to produce them in I think about eight weeks I mean the Brazilian tour was amazing I had so much fun with her then and I remember one show um, and it was just when she'd really got back to her best as well she just did it was such an incredible tour and she was really happy and um, and I remember she got on stage and she started to sing Boulevard of Broken Dreams and the wind blew, it blew her hair back and I just, the hairs on my arms stood up on end. It was just incredible. Oh,